morning, boys and girls. I am so excited to be with you this morning because this week we get to celebrate a very special birthday. Can you raise your hand if you know whose very special birthday we get to celebrate this week? I bet if I was with you right now, you can put your hands down, but I bet that if I was with you right now, you would tell me that it's baby Jesus's birthday this week. Isn't that so cool that for Christmas we get to celebrate the birth of baby Jesus? Well, our Bible story today is from the book of Luke. And this Bible story takes place right after baby Jesus' birth. This is when um, Anna and Simeon get to meet baby Jesus. So if you would please turn on your listening ears, click them on, and we'll get started. So Mary and Joseph took baby Jesus to the temple. While they were there, they met a man named Simeon. Can you wave and say hello to Simeon? Hello, Simeon. Good job. Simeon loved God, and he was so excited to meet baby Jesus. Now, Mary and Joseph also met a prophetess named Anna. When Anna saw baby Jesus, she thanked God for him. Can you say thank you, God, with me? Are you ready? Thank you, God. So Anna told everyone in the temple that Jesus was God's son, the savior of the world. That is the good news of Christmas, and we get to share this good news with everyone. So this month, we have been practicing a memory verse, and our memory verse talks all about Jesus and how he's the savior of the world. So let's try to do that together right now. Can you do that with me? Are you ready? We're going to point up God, then we're going to rock the baby, sent his son to be savior, put your arms out, of the world. Let's try that again. God sent his son to be savior of the world. And that's 1 John 4.14. Very good. I bet a lot of you have been practicing that Bible verse, and I would be so happy for you to have your mom send me an email of you doing that or a text because I want to hear from you. I want to see that you're memorizing our Bible verses every week, and then I can send you a little something in the mail, and I can put your name up on our um, special chalkboard at church that tells us all of our Bible um, scripture superstars. So I'm looking forward to hearing from many of you, and I hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas, and that as you celebrate Christmas this week, you remember that we're getting the best gift ever, and that is God's Son, Jesus. And I'm so excited that we get to share him with other people, too. So before we go, let's go ahead and pray. So if you close your eyes and bow your heads, we'll get started. Father God, thank you so much for your Son, Jesus. What an amazing gift. And I just pray that we can go out and share your amazing gift with others. So watch over us, protect us, keep us safe and healthy, and we ask this in your name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Hello to everyone in the North Pole. You're tuning in just in time for Rudy Reindeer's Story of the Day. My favorite stories come from God's Word. Does everyone out there listening know what God's Word is? That's right. If you want to hear a Bible story, then click on your listening ears. Click, click. Now put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. There's a story in the Bible that reminds me of someone who shared the good news of Christmas with everyone. Her name was Anna. Can everyone out there say Anna? Anna. Good job. After baby Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple. There, they met a godly man named Simeon and a prophet named Anna. Simeon held baby Jesus in his arms. Listeners, can you pretend to hold baby Jesus in your arms? You are all so sweet. Simeon held baby Jesus and praised God. Simeon knew that Jesus was our Savior. When Anna saw baby Jesus, she thanked God for him. Can everyone in Radio Land say, Thank you, God? Thank you, God! That's it! After Anna thanked God for Jesus, she told everyone in the temple that Jesus was God's Son, the Savior of the world. 
And that is the good news of Christmas, coming at you live from Joy FM. Now, here's a special message for you from our Reindeer Radio Elves. Hey friends, how are you doing? Great to be with you this morning. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question today. Have you ever loved someone so much that you just couldn't keep it to yourself? Like you wanted to just tell everybody how much you love this person. Maybe that's your parents, maybe your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or your aunt or uncle or even your dog or your cat. Like, oh, I just love you so much and I just have to tell you. Sometimes there is some things in our life that makes us so happy that we just have to say it. And I think that is such a cool thing. The other thing I wanted to ask you about today was, have you ever played a game where someone hides something in a box and they don't tell you what's in the box, but you have to put your hand in and like touch it and see if you can figure it out? What that's called is wonder. Like, I wonder what's in that box. And it could be something very exciting. could be something a little bit scary. But what it creates inside of you is just this like, ah, right? So we're going to be talking about wonder today and about worship. What do you think worship means? Sometimes it means that we sing songs to God and maybe um, coming to church or maybe like sitting down and have devotions with your family or reading the Bible at dinner or saying prayers before you go to bed, uh, listening to Christian music. All of those things can be considered worship. But I want you to open your heart today and knowing that there are other ways that you can worship God too. Some ways that you could worship God is to love him so deeply that your actions show other people how much you love God. We worship God any time that we choose to live our life for him. And by loving other people, you do your part in telling others about Jesus. Being kind and loving is an act of worship to God. And so when you do something nice for someone else, you're actually serving God while you are doing that. I want you to think today about what are some ways in your life that you can worship God in your daily life outside of church. The passage that we're talking about today, there are two passages. One is from Luke chapter 2 verses 8 through 20 and the other one is from the book of Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 12. It's a lot of verses, and so when it's convenient for you, or maybe when you turn off this video, you can go and read those with your family. I'm going to tell you again what they were. Luke 2, 8 through 20, and Matthew 2, 1 through 12. I'm going to read just a little bit out of the, the Luke 2 uh, passage so you kind of get an idea of where we're going today. In the same region... Shepherds were staying out in the fields and keeping watch at night over their flock. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. 
And so it was a way of the Lord showing the shepherds that Savior had been born. I want you to kind of put yourself in their shoes that night. Talk about wonder. It's dark, and all of a sudden this bright light comes upon you, and you are told that a Savior is born. That would bring out the two things that we've been talking about already today. Wonder. I wonder what this means. And number two, worship. Ah! <gasps> I want to worship this baby, this Messiah. I want to see him and lay, lie before him and worship him. So cool. The great thing about worshiping Jesus is the wonder of it. We have an opportunity to look to God and to learn so much just by expressing our thankfulness for his life, for our life, and for everything that God has given us. And before Jesus were bo was born, there were people who asked to be the very first people to worship God. Can you imagine what that would have been like? The awe, the wonder of worshiping him, of being the very first person other than Jesus' parents who saw him. Can you imagine the wonder that you would have felt in your heart we talked about, like, have you ever loved something so much that you just wanted to tell everyone? That's how I imagine that the shepherds were about being the very first people to see Jesus. Like, this amazing thing has happened. I have waited for this. I wondered about it. I saw it. And now I want to tell. It must have been an incredible experience for them. So those shepherds must have been so like thrilled to be the first people to be a part of seeing Jesus for the first time. You know, later in the story, we read that the Magi also came. And really, it wasn't right away. It was in Jesus was a little bit older. And the same thing, like they had this wonder, like I have to see this, this newborn king. And they brought him gifts. My challenge to you today, guys, is I want you to think about special things about yourself. Are you kind, loving? Um, are you helpful? Are you generous? All of those things are gifts that you wouldn't have if God didn't give them to you. He made you, uniquely you, to honor and serve him and to show others how he lives in your life. And so this Christmas is a perfect opportunity for you to share the love you feel for God, the wonder that you have inside about your relationship with him, and also show others how you can worship God by serving others. I'm so proud of you, and I want you to share with me the ways that you're going to serve God by serving others this Christmas. See you soon. Nuggets, it's me. Car roll. Welcome to Gruel TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Gruel Hey y'all, do you know what this is? Are these yours? Because I haven't seen these before. They're just lines. Why? How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's after six? Not 12, not green. Seven, there are seven lines. What does that mean? Seven lines, seven lines, seven. There were seven days in the days of creation. Creation took a week. Adam and Eve became weak after they ate the fruit of the, uh, the, the tree. The tree is a plant. Plants grow. We're on Grow TV. I got it! Actually, I don't. I just really confused myself and now my brain hurts. Hey, girl. Ow! What? What happened? Sorry, my head hurts and your voice scared me, which made my head hurt more. I'm sorry. Well, I just wanted to ask you for some help. Really? I was going to ask you for some help. Oh, cool. Well, I got a message about what we were supposed to talk about today, but for some reason, a word is missing. Huh. That's weird, right? Yeah, it is. This has never happened before. Well, what does it say? Well, it says we can blank Jesus. Hmm. That's really weird. 
right? I'm just not sure what to do. We can't have the big idea without the word. And without the big idea, we can't have a Grow TV episode. Oh no! Can you imagine laugh without Grow TV? I don't want to. It sounds horrible. You're telling me? If it weren't for Grow TV, I'd be eating pizzas off the ground still. You still eat pizzas off the ground. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, it's because it's pizza. Someone's gotta eat it. So what do you need help with? This! There's seven spaces and they came out of nowhere. Carl. What? What did I do? This is a word we're missing. Oh. Ah! Did you see that? I did. It's all right. I think when you said, oh, it popped up. I guess that means we have to guess the letters of the word. And once we guess, I think we'll have our big idea. Okay. So I guess we could say all the letters, but there might be a hint in the story today. That would be more fun. What's it about? Good idea. Well, you remember last week's story, right? Yep. Jesus was born in a manger. Possibly with cool animals like cows, goats, chicken, pterodactyl, velociraptor, mammoth, pythons. Best birthday ever. Okay, I'm gonna ignore some of those answers, but yeah, Jesus was born. Well, after he was born, there was a few shepherds in a field nearby. <clears throat> they were watching over their flocks when out of nowhere an angel appeared to them. No way. Yahweh. The shepherds were so scared of the angel. I bet. I'd be afraid too. The angel told them not to be afraid though. The angel said that there was a king born and then more angels showed up. They brought the shepherds really good news. Oh yeah, and then they went to visit Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, right? Yeah, they went there to greet Jesus and spend time with all of them. How cool is that? Well, what about the Magi, AKA the wise men? Yeah, not too long after that, the wise men saw a star in the sky that they had never seen before. They followed it to where Jesus was and they brought things to Jesus' family. Things like golden oils, the kind you use to anoint someone important or help someone feel better. Wow. Turns out the wise people are pretty wise and trusting to go on a road trip that long to meet a baby. They knew that the star meant the king was born and they trusted God. And it wouldn't have been the same without gifts for the birthday boy. Can't have a celebration without presents, right? Sure can't. So that's the story. Makes me wonder what the hint is. What's the word we're missing? Well, the shepherds and wise men love Jesus, right? But love isn't seven letters. We can nothing Jesus. We can lobster Jesus. We can YouTube Jesus. We can coconut Jesus. The shepherds and the wise men were a big part of the story. So what did they have in common in the story? <clears throat> well, besides worshiping Jesus, I really don't know. What? What is it? Hey! Carl, that's it. Worship. The shepherds and the wise men stopped what they were doing, they went to Jesus, and they worshipped him. Wow, that's right! The shepherds gave him attention, and they went to go praise him. And the wise men traveled and brought gifts. They worshipped Jesus! And we can do exactly the same thing by living our life and worshipping Jesus. Through songs, gifts, and prayer. There are so many ways we can worship Jesus. We can worship Jesus! That's our big idea! Today's big idea is we can worship Jesus. That's right. So on the count of three, let's all yell it together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. We, we can, can worship Jesus. Jesus. Yes, we can. We can worship him. See, Cassie can too. We can all do that. We can worship Jesus. How about you? That is my wrap for this segment. I'm going to finish right now. Well, I'm glad we solved that mystery. Yeah, me too. Your guesses were really out there, though. I guessed it, though, didn't I? Yeah, but we can lobster Jesus. Come on. I thought it was a good guess. I mean, <laughs> have a good week, kids. Go lobster something. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of